Hello and welcome to Module 1, Restore and Configuration of Vault. My name is Brian Shannon and I'm Product Manager for the Autodesk Vault family of products here at Autodesk. Today's agenda uh, will take us through how to restore a Vault backup and some of the best practices there. We'll take a look at Vault configurations, uh, users and groups, uh, the use of Job Server, and then a summary checkpoint towards the end. Let's talk about first how to prepare your vault. So from a, uh, a demonstration standpoint, you know, what we're going to do is uh, learn how do you restore a demonstration data set to a known point. Think snapshot. Uh, then we're going to take a look at how we can import and export uh, settings from one vault into another, or maybe you want to make your own vault. We'll talk about users. Um, then we're going to, on your own machine, uh, enable job server in the vault and then we're going to launch the job processor client and see how we can use that inside of our demonstrations. So what, a, what is a vault backup? A vault backup is essentially a, uh, a compilation and in a production environment what a vault backup means is you have um, all of the metadata, you have all the files, the versions and everything and that's a it's a cut or a snapshot in time. And the idea is we capture everything. Generally, this is a customer's intellectual property, but for a demonstration standpoint, think of it as a snapshot that you can roll back to. You have everything inside of that vault. Uh, so you'll have all of your CAD files, all of your um, other geometry, auxiliary files, uh, everything that, uh, that you need to show. It's all in one single location. That's the power of leveraging vault for demonstrations. For instance, if you have to demonstrate in the morning and then turn around and demonstrate in the afternoon. It's nice to have this ability. Uh, so it uh, also gives us uh, the ability to offload uh, certain tasks and we're going to take a look at how we can use the job server uh, for some of these uh, other tasks. So the backup and restore is actually done through the ADMS and that just stands for the Autodesk Data Management Server Console. So this is on your machine. If you're uh, installed uh, as I am here, I have a, a, a laptop and I am server and client, I'm job server, I'm CAD authoring, so I'm everything on one. But generally this is, um, in a production environment, the ADMS is on a server. You'd remote into it or maybe you go into the server room. But the ADMS is a user interface application and uh, from a pull-down menu we can access backup and restore. And when we restore, when we backup, you can choose well, what type do you want we browse out to a certain folder location and uh, we can even change the uh, restore locations for the database and the, and the store. So the idea here is when you restore and what we're going to do in, in uh, an exercise coming up is restore to a, uh, a start point, the start of a uh, demonstration. And this allows that, uh, it's a data management tool, yes, but it allows anybody to be able to use this and uh, leverage everything that's inside of a vault and this simply beats you know, having a WinZip file and constantly overriding uh, saved files and, and overriding the beginning of demonstrations.